You feel a vibe, it's contagious Look in your eyes, it's dangerous Grateful I had all the patience I know you going through some changes You taking pictures, know your angles Ooh, no Hey, y'all It's been a minute I think I finally am back I'm going to try to look in here But I'm more than likely just gonna look at myself Because it's hard to not look here it's been such a long time since i've been back um i got a new phone with a whole bunch of gigabytes so i swear on everything if this phone can't hold my stuff i'm gonna just believe that youtube ain't for me hearing me we'll go straight into it i'm going to be doing some do's and don'ts of starting your business or if you're in a business the do's and don'ts Mind you, I'm still figuring it out for myself. I'm new to my channel, or if you just don't know what I'm about, I am a seamstress. And I am a custom seamstress, meaning people give me things and or give me designs. I custom fit the design for them. Or if they want something like this, which is my original design, I will custom make it for them. I also have with my family members, uh, my mother and my sister, a company called Finesse, and it is for eyebrow and eyelash growth. We'll be getting into edge drops, you know, further down the line, but for right now, it is called Finesse and it is for your eyebrows and your eyelashes to help them grow. So we're clear, these are my eyebrows. They're not drawn in. These are my eyebrows. So we'll start with the do's. I don't know if I'm going to go do's, don't, do's, don't, do's, don't, but it's eight of each and let's see how it works out, okay? So first do, do trust in God, okay? Let me tell you about the power of God. I don't care if you don't believe in him. He's still there, baby girl. I wouldn't be able to do none of this stuff once for God. I don't know what I'm doing 98% of the time. And he just like, baby, baby, I got you. You got to trust him. You have to. You have to trust him. Um, Number two, do. Do behind the scenes stuff first. Before you go. And, and I know I keep looking from here to here, here to here. Bear with it, you'll be fine. Just listen to it now. Just do behind the scenes stuff first. Meaning, get your ducks in a row before you announce that you're going to start a business. So, for example, with Ace and the Collections, mind you, also, I've been doing this since I started in the top of the year of 2015, I believe, I started Ace and the Collections. Um, yes. For example, with Ace and the Collections, I did not have all my, all my ducks in a row. It was my first business. I did not have all my ducks in a row at all. And I was just kind of announcing things and putting things out here and da, da 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 but not having product or not having, excuse me, or not having any knowledge of where the next step was or what the next step was. So I would suggest that um, you already have your steps your vision in place before you go and announce that you have a business so for finesse we were a lot more prepared when it came to it because i didn't put out a thing i didn't post a thing none of us posted a thing until everything was in our possession and people were like when are you dropping it when it's ready it was down to the tissue paper for the pack and they were like are we really ready for tissue paper yes you are waiting for tissue paper because I'm not, I'm not even saying that it's ready until I get the right tissue paper, period. So then it's just a matter of putting it in the packages and shipping it off. And a lot of the packages are already prepared. So like I would make a bunch and then just like put your name on it and that's it. And we're done. And it's just such, it was such a much easier process um, this second time around with running the business because I've already seen the failures of not being prepared behind the scenes before you present it to everyone. Number three do is figure out how to be organized for you. Organization is different for everybody so I'm not going to tell you how to be organized because I'm still trying to figure out how to organize myself still. Um you have to be organized make this place be the 
um, place you do videos or like if you're doing YouTube videos, this is the spot where I do this. This is the spot where I do that. This is where I sew. This is where I do this. This is where I package. Make those distinctions because I'm telling you right now, your mind as an entrepreneur, when you're running it, your mind is the most valuable thing. And if it's all over the place, your business will be all over the place. I'm telling you that for a fact. So please find a way to organize yourself and constantly keep up the cleanliness of it. I'm just like literally cleaning all the time in my sewing room. Like when it gets junky, I cannot function. I cannot function <laughs> when it gets junky. And I've gone days, weeks without just like sewing because I'm like, I don't even, I'm just too lazy to clean it up. But if I would have not let it get messy from the jump, I would have never gotten discouraged to even come in here. You know what I'm saying? Four, create a creative space for you to think. A haven. So, for example, I have these, this wall back here. Under that, this is actually vinyl. Under that is just blue paint. And it was just bringing me down. Like, honestly, it just wasn't my vibe at all. It was not giving me good vibes. Blue was just making me blue. I didn't want to come in here. I changed stuff up. It allows me to just want to come in here just that much more because it's prettier. And I'm still doing stuff in here so that it could just be prettier for me. So it's just a, it's a haven. I'm trying to make it a haven so that I can be encouraged to be creative. Five, schedule all um, and process, please. Okay, now what I mean by that is... Like I said before, your mind is the most valuable thing when it comes to entrepreneurship because your mind is creating all of the physical stuff. You had it in your mind and then you're like, how do I figure out with my mind how to make this a thing? How to make this something that can be touched, can be felt, can be seen? Like, how can I make it that? So your mind has to be at all times uh, on point right so you have to find a way to process and you have to process <laughs> you have to give your your brain time to process meaning do not do not open up a whole bunch of businesses at once i learned that oh my god the creative person um and as a business woman you or a business person in general you have all of these ideas for how you can do this and how you can do that and that, that, that which is all good because the richest people in the world have a whole bunch of different streams of income but it's the idea of the process stay with the process stay the course scheduling is important so i'm not going to start this business anymore start a business and then start another business immediately following that just because i had the idea no allow that to start running for itself get a good idea create your creative space figure out what works for you figure out your organizational um plans and all of that good stuff and when that is running for itself then you can start another business i would even suggest wait until you get employees for that business so just because so you could delegate and then start another business number six reinvest reinvest in your business um, I would suggest taking whatever it is, take 50%, put it back into it. And if you can, take all the percent and put it back into it. Keep reinvesting in your business because it's going to get at a point where you're seeing profit. Um, number seven of dues, relax. Find your time where you can relax throughout the day. I'm still working on that still working on that but it is important to find time even an hour 30 minutes that you are just to yourself thinking about not the business and just like self-care like honestly when I'm getting my nails done or something like that or when I'm doing my hair that is my time for self-care mind you I do my hair like once every two months I get my nails done like once a month. That's not enough. You need every day at least an hour for you just to process, for you to just bring it down and start up again. 
Um, number eight, revisit the plan every three months. Revisit, because I'm telling you, it's going to change. When you're an entrepreneur, you re you're figuring it out as you go. So your plan from January probably ain't going to be the same plan that you have for April. Because you're going to have a different idea like, ooh, tweaking here, tweaking there. So revisit the plan and write down your plan so you can revisit it to know what you need to be changing. So write down your plan. So you start in January. Revisit that in January, February, March, April. Hey, how's it going? Do I need to tweak something up? Da, 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 da. Profit, checking the income, checking all of that stuff. Checking your emails, checking how um, people are responding to your product. Checking all of that stuff to make sure that you're running smoothly and then do it again every three months. You got to do it every month and do that too.